Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhay. Welcome to another edition of Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. We will come to your home every Tuesday live at 12 noon. We want to thank you for joining us for another empowerment. Our mission is to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. I'm your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, and it is a pleasure to join for you to join us today. Our guest for uh, another uh, Second Chances and Awakening Moment is the Vice President of Senior Banking uh, Director of Central Pacific Bank. And may I present to you a fellow uh, UFCH uh, queen, Joy Agni. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you, Ate Emmy. Thank you so much. It's, it's an honor to be here uh, and to share um, my experience. Mm -hmm. um, as a um, seven-year um, breast cancer survivor. Thank you. Um, before we go into that, would like to uh, share just a little bit of personal background. Uh, I know you came here when you were very young. Uh, so tell us about uh, how and when did you immigrate to this land of uh, milk and honey? Um, my, my mom passed away. Oh when I was just uh, 14 months old. Um, I, have, um, I have an older brother, which mm -hmm. is 18 months um, older. apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, um, growing up, it was hard for our father. Mm -hmm. So, um, seven years later, um, he took the opportunity to um, marry a citizen, mm. a Filipino citizen. Mm -hmm. so, and that's how uh, he came to the United States. Mm. So um, when I was uh, 13, that's when, uh, and my, my brother is 15, that's when we came to the United States. Mm -hmm. um, just us, I mean, just me and my brother, nobody else, no relatives. Just, mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. flew us out in a uh, plane. Um, so, so describe what was oh, that like, that experience. God. There, was, mm -hmm. there was no relatives. It was just dad, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, when we got here, um, it was, it was a new, new beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, were you afraid, uh, felt like you're out of place? I wanted to go back. <laughs> Take the plane, plane it, back to. I wanted to, to go back mm -hmm. because I was sheltered by my grandma. Mm -hmm. uh, but eventually, um, you know, a year later, uh, I went to Dole Intermediate. Mm -hmm. And then I went on to uh, Barrington High School. That's mm -hmm. why you see a tita in me. <laughs> yeah. So I survival. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I graduated in 1987, um, and then thereafter, um, I was very fortunate um, to um, uh, work for be hired at mm -hmm. Central Pacific Bank um, two years later, and I've been with Central Pacific Bank for this is my 31 years. And you're Spirit. only 22, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's so, so wonderful. So during the, uh, when I was in high school, um, you know, my dad um, uh, got divorced and then mm -hmm. married after. So I do have two other brothers, uh, two, other, uh, two other siblings mm -hmm. on my stepmom side. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, the journey to be where I am today, um, I, I, I don't uh, regret anything. It, mm -hmm. it made me the person that I am today. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. you uh, uh, experienced right, right away the trials and tribulations of uh, life at an yes. early age. Yes. Uh -huh. um, you know, um, being that I didn't have no um, mother figure, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I pretty much had to struggle. Um, that's probably why I am what I am today, mm -hmm. with my kids being so protective of mm -hmm, them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying have, to make up for lost time, yeah, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I I have um, three children on my own. Um, my eldest now is now 28, um, and then 26, and then 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've um, been busy. Caring. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. My my both of my kids. Uh, two of my kids are in uh, Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter 
This is her second year um, uh, as a dental student. Mm -hmm. And um, my, my son, my 18-year-old, is pretty much uh, following the uh, footsteps and, and, and the sister. And then my middle, my middle son is now um, almost done with his journeyman uh, contract. Mm -hmm. yeah, so mm -hmm. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Wow, sounds like yeah. they're um, on the right track yeah, so they can we, be uh, independent. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, you know, um, with, uh, with being busy, whatnot, um, um, life is good. I mean, life at mm -hmm. this moment is good. I mean, with, uh, with being working for Central Pacific Bank, it allowed me to be able to um, pretty much um, with the children. Mm -hmm. And that gives what, you that flexibility. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I stayed mm -hmm. where I'm at, because I wanted to make sure that um, while the children are growing up, um, I'm there. Um, I'm there to do their homework in the evening. Mm -hmm. yeah, I needed to have that consistent um, uh, role model to them. Um, my husband on the other side, uh, I've been blessed to be married to a wonderful man. Mm -hmm. um, for how long? We've been married for, uh, this would be 30 years. 30 years. 30 years. Married. That's a record. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Considering, yes, yeah. you know. High, high school sweetheart. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Wonderful. So uh, everything was going well, right? Uh-huh. And yes. your, your, children, your three children, you have a wonderful, supportive husband. Uh, your career is uh, well on path. And this is why you've only had that one job, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I, 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 in November of 2011, um, um, I was working at um, Pearl Highlands as a branch manager. Mm -hmm. And um, before going to work that day, I, I, uh, I took a shower mm -hmm. and I found um, so something, there was something funny. Mm. There was a lump in there. so. So I didn't go to work, so my husband said, okay, you know, we better go to the doctor. And sure enough, uh, we did um, mammogram, ultrasound, mm -hmm. and two days later, um, we had the biopsy. And um, at the office, I was by myself, um, mm -hmm. and the doctor called, and sure enough, it was So they confirmed? Was, they confirmed it, uh -huh. yeah. Um, my my best friend um, Roberta Ribeiro had to had to come and get me mm -hmm. and had to take me home because mm -hmm. uh, it was a denial. Mm -hmm. There was no one in the family that um, had breast cancer. So mm -hmm. Why you know? Why me? You know? Mm -hmm. um, it yeah. took me a while. It took me a while. Um, uh, but ten days later, because I just want to. I would just mm -hmm. want to get it done, you know. Ten days later, um, I was at the operating room, and they did a lumpectomy. Mm -hmm. Lumpectomy, just they just removed the tumor, not not mastectomy. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I went through um, six weeks cycle of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, yes. Um, so six weeks of that, and then um, I did seven weeks of radiation mm -hmm. after. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, take it, take it back, take us back again, uh, because I know it was very devastating for you to uh, get the diagnosis, and you said uh, denial. denial. First, you didn't uh, accept. Yes. Uh, what was going through your mind exactly, uh, for the benefit of uh, those that might be uh, suffering right now? Uh, I was depressed. Mm -hmm. I was depressed. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I have to be honest, it's, mm -hmm. it's about a year that took me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, you asked a lot of why. Why? Right? Yeah, why mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. Those were the, um, every day I asked that question, mm -hmm. why? I'm, I'm healthy. You're I mean, healthy, right? Yeah, I'm uh -huh. healthy. I do the, all the right things. Right, said, right, right. Why? Uh -huh. um, but my fate, my family, mm -hmm. and my children, mm -hmm. those are the three that kept me going. Mm -hmm. Um, my faith in the Lord um, has, has 
really, really impacted on my Sustained recovery. You. Yes, on right. my recovery. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, throughout the, um, the process, uh, I am blessed with an employer as well, Central mm -hmm. Pacific Bank, mm -hmm. that allowed me to work at the same time. Mm -hmm. They allowed me, so while going through chemotherapy, um, and they understood. Yes, right. Yes. I had my bosses uh, mm -hmm. practically come and get me for meetings because I told them, you know, I don't want to feel sorry. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want you to feel pity for me. Mm -hmm. um, at that time too, um, you know, there was an opening as a branch manager for Waipahu Branch, mm -hmm. and I wanted that job so bad because I always say I will come back. To Waipaho branch mm -hmm. because to me Waipaho um, you know I could do my dialect at the same time right I could, right uh, there is demographic wise mm -hmm. there's a lot of Filipinos out there so I could share mm -hmm. um, what I know with them so okay so being yeah. that you're comfortable in our dialect and uh, we are here <laughs> to empower others uh, whether in, in uh, Tagalog or Ilocano uh, exactly uh, how how did you survive how did I survive mm -hmm. um, pretty much being um, uh, you have to have a lot of um, the family uh, mm -hmm. don't hang um, don't be afraid to ask for help mm -hmm because they're there to help you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they don't know what to, 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 to do, um, but as long as they're there, then the... Namahandamot nga umay no hang kang agdawat ititulong, right? Oh, yeah, right? yeah, uh -huh. yeah but, um, but for me, the, the, the family support was very important mm -hmm. on my recovery. Uh, how about the children? Uh, how did they? Uh, um, mm. My daughter was the one that was affected the most. Because mm -hmm. um, she could relate. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So she couldn't. Um, and possibly the fear, joy. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, it's in your genes. Uh, yeah. Mom, yeah. do I have to go yeah. through this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I, I attended the. Um, they have a uh, breast cancer survival at the Palimomi. So, um, so that that sharing my experience and then going back home, mm -hmm. just trying to explain to my daughter as well, and along with the American Cancer Society, mm -hmm. um, they were the one that actually, again, helped me as well. Um, um, the same thing when you know, uh, as a as a Mrs. Hawaii Filipina, you know mm -hmm. your beauty. You know, you got to be confident, and then, so. So how how long uh, after? Uh, it's about it, a year. When it, you ran for uh, Mrs. Um, Hawaii Filipina, this was in two, 2011, right? I was um, I was six months. I was crowned six months as a Mrs. Hawaii Filipina, and then November of that year, that's when I found out. So. Oh, so you were you wore was, the crown? Yes, yes, oh. at the same time. But uh -huh. uh, I told I told myself uh, I am not I am not going to let the disease rule me. That mm -hmm. was my thing. Mm -hmm. I, I I refused. You had a strong condition. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And I need I need to make an example for my children mm -hmm. that mom is strong. Mm -hmm. I can do this, and so you guys can. So. Um, also, again, like I said, the American Cancer Society was also a big, big backup for me. So they called, they came, um, I went to their facility, and, mm -hmm. you know, they, they put on, um, they give you wigs. Okay. Yeah, they give you wigs. Uh, to help you yeah, yes, get to help through. You get through. Yeah. Okay, hold that yeah. thought for a moment. We're going to take a quick break. We are having a conversation with Joy Agni, uh, a fellow... United Filipino Council of Hawaii, Mrs. Hawaii Filipina for 2011. And she's sharing with us her personal journey, her story of survival, and how she uh, uh, got through it uh, being a breast cancer survivor. We will be right back here on Pinoy Power Hawaii. 
Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that, you know, may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea is on Think Tech Hawaii every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join me where my guests talk about law topics and ideas and music and Hawaiiana all across the sea from Hawaii and back again. Aloha. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii. We are having a conversation today. It's uh, our series of empowerment, uh, awakening, and second chances. And our guest for today is a fellow uh, Mrs. Hawaii Filipina for 2011, uh, the beautiful Joy Agni. So uh, thank you for walking us through your emotions, uh, your journey, your, your strength, your survival, and how, uh, how did you cope with that devastating news. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, you were already wearing your crown. You were in the middle of completing your reign as Mrs. Hawaii Filipina when you got that news. Uh, and it made it even more trying to be able to, it's just like crying or hurting on the inside, and yet you have to put out your best uh, yes. foot forward because you wear a crown. Right. Everybody looks up to you. Right. So uh, right. continue and uh, tell us more of your journey. So I was six months as a Mrs. Hawaii Filipina, and um, I, I had to make a choice um, and either give up my crown. Because you couldn't fulfill yeah, your I tats and fulfill uh, duties as a queen. Right. Uh -huh. And then at the same time, um, going through the cancer. Um, but I did not allow the cancer to rule me. Mm -hmm. um, I told myself that you can do this. Um, and with family support, um, my husband would take me to chemo. Mm -hmm. um, and those were the difficult times because you go through uh, six, every three weeks, you would go um, treatment. treatment uh -huh. And um, sometimes everybody work. Everybody works, so sometimes you don't have no no one at the house to help you. So I I, I can laugh at it now, mm -hmm. but um, my husband would leave me in the morning. So Thursday I would get my chemo. Friday, mm -hmm. um, it's I'm still okay. It's Sunday that I would the the chemo would kick in. Kick in, right? Oh. So throughout. Describe to us oh, oh, what God. you feel when. Um, your whole body just, I don't know, I cannot, I cannot. Hard to describe, huh? Uh, yeah, hard to describe. Uh -huh. I mean, you just, the way I could describe it is how my husband left me that morning. I'm, I'm exactly like that when he comes home, two in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So you feel worthless? Yes, nothing, done, nothing. Uh, no, anything, there's nothing yeah. that you can do. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, because up. your body's weak, or yes, you're experiencing yes. all these the whole, changes and yes. discomfort. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So they take us la awan iti namam, awan mama aymo, awan mau ubram, right? Uh huh. And that really doesn't uh, help to boost your uh, your ego when no dey uh, pinagserbim, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Yeah. So a lot of uh, thoughts. Ado de gije pampanunotong mangkusokuso ti panunot mo. Whether is it worth it? Yeah. Uh, that came through my mind. Uh huh. That came uh, through my mind. Uh -huh. Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. I would walk. Um, I would walk through the street of Waipaho just, and you know, while walking, you know, tears. I'm flooding. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it so, was my children. It uh -huh. was my children that kept me going. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
developing a deeper faith in God, belief. Being positive, uh -huh. past, being positive. I'm crying with you, Joy, because in 2004, I was also diagnosed with a brain tumor. And I too felt like it was a death, death sentence. Yeah. And I asked those questions, why me? My kids are too young uh, to uh, not have a mother, and I'm at the peak of my career. What did I do, Lord, yeah. to deserve such a life sentence? Yeah, so I can totally relate uh, brain tumor, breast cancer. Uh, these are major uh, organs that we cannot do without. So I feel you, yeah. Marik nakti daytoy struggle can pinag sagabam adiko. The only thing that I can say at this point now is um, I can I can I can talk about it uh -huh. because I'm okay now. Right. But during the first year, second year, it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. It was very difficult to um, talk about it. Um, but, you know, with, with people coming in at the branch, and... They must have been wondering. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because I, uh -huh. I had my, you know, I, I, sometimes I would just put a scarf uh -huh. or go to the branch. Uh -huh. But as, again, with, because of my title as a branch manager, right. I mean, you, you, you have to, you have to lead. You have to lead the branch. So... There's that barrier wherein the front is okay, but the inside, inside. yeah, is difficult. Uh -huh. yeah. difficult. Yeah. So, in the uh, ka regatan nga parte the uh, recovery, um, anati na pasamak may panggap kita ite pinag ite uh, pinagra mo ite apo, yeah. Uh, Every day. Because I had conversations yeah. with God every day. Every day. Because uh -huh. um, Waipahu branch is by Pacific Supermarket. Uh -huh. Waipahu, uh, the church, St. Joseph. St. Yes. Joseph, St. Joseph. Uh -huh. So every day going home, there's a small chapel at, at St. Joseph. Mm -hmm. So I would park my car on the side of the road and go to the chapel. And Pour yeah. your heart out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Every day. That's every day. Uh, the same question I ask is, if, why me? Why, why mm -hmm. me? Why me? And uh, did you finally uh, come into peace? Yeah? Tell us about it. I have. I, I, I now, I believe I have a purpose. Uh-huh. Um, this is the awakening moment yeah, portion. I believe I have oh, a purpose. Uh -huh. Coming to you, um, I believe that I have a platform now to tell women my experience that is going through the same journey, journey now. Uh -huh. And there's hope. There's hope. Uh, there's modern technology nowadays. Uh -huh. So don't give up. It's really, really important that uh, we uh, find strength uh, from within to want to live because there were days when I didn't want to. You know, it was easier to take the, it, the, the way out, right. yeah, to give up and just not fight. And at any given time, I felt uh, joy that uh, I could go anytime. If I uh, allowed myself to just let it go, no. not fight, uh, I, I, I would have been dead a long time ago. Yeah. There's still that anxiety, you know, um, when you go through. Uh, so I do annual um, testing now, CT scan, you know, mammogram. Uh -huh. So whenever you go to that motion, yes. I get all these anxiety um, that goes through your head. Right, cause because it takes you the, back, yeah, right? Yeah, because in the back of your head, it's like, uh -huh. hey, you have that fear that it's coming back. Uh -huh. 
But when that happens, and I try as much as I can, when that negative Thought. mindset uh -huh. comes in, your thought comes in, I just, I just leave the house and walk. Mm -hmm. um, exercise has been um, um, truly an amazing, um, because that's how I'm able to stress out, mm -hmm. de-stress out, I call it. Um, um, the same thing with what you eat, uh, just being able to take care of yourself. Right. Yeah. At the same time, but um, but the uh, the negative, you just gotta. It's there. Yeah. It's just it's there. Uh, yeah. Finding a way to yeah. deal with it. Right. 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 Uh -huh. right. So, so if you could learn anything, or or if you could uh, reiterate. Uh, the most necessary thing that one would do to cope or to be able to overcome that obstacle, what would that be? I know we mentioned it, but... Yeah. Um, so, for me, my recovery is exercise. Uh -huh. I, I would exercise um, your diet, um, your, again, your faith in the Lord, mm -hmm. family support, family support. All yeah. important don't, ingredients. Don't, don't be afraid uh -huh. to ask for help. How happy are you about being given uh, the second chance? Because so, a lot of us are not given that sec second chance. I am in my life wherein I am at peace. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward for my daughter graduating. So those are the uh, kind of what, uh, what I look for now. And just be able to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, do uh, do what you like to do. I mean, um, I go hiking. Uh, I see you out there. Yeah, I go hiking. Just be with friends. I mm -hmm. mean, I I pick and choose now, trying to balance my life. I mean, um, there's a lot of organization, but at the same token, you gotta balance family. Right. Work. So it puts you uh, in a mode of prioritizing. Yes. Yeah, and not yes. having to uh, do everything. Well, great, great thought, and I thank you for uh, sharing um, tra your transparency, your your honesty, and uh, uh, your determination. Uh, those are wonderful uh, power that you have. Your resilience that uh, not giving, giving up attitude, coupled with uh, faith in the Lord and uh, uh, discovering that you do have, uh, you do have a task, you, you have a purpose in life that you need to uh, complete and uh, continue the empowerment. Thank you, Ate. Thank you so much for having me. Here. Same here. We love you for sharing from the heart. We want to thank you once again for joining us here on uh, Pinoy Power Hawaii for another empowering segment of uh, Second Chances and uh, uh, given, being given an opportunity to uh, make a difference. Uh, my name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host. Every Tuesday, 12 noon, we come to you and share with you empowering stories as the one that Joe Agni had just shared with us. Uh, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. We say maraming salamat po, mabuhay. <laughs>